Okay, back on the Magnavox, uh, I did check the vertical hold control with an analog meter and it reads right at one meg and has good meter action back and forth. Um, next I was instructed to go over here and check this area here. Actually, per the SAMs here, take it with the tube V9 removed and brightness at minimum. The brightness is down, so we don't have the white line going across burning our screen. So, um, got the scope out of them right here at pin one of the vertical multi vibrator here. And it's supposed to look like this. And, I'll say I'm sort of new at this. This is what it looks like. And so, I don't know, is this all noise here? Because I still get by two, four, six, seven, my two volts per division. So, does that look good? I don't know. It's, it's, it is drifting. And it's got a lot of... A lot of junk here. It doesn't look like the picture there. So next I'm going to try and do these AGC... AGC, yeah. Uh, this level's here to see how this looks. Test point one. Okay, I did notice over here if I did put the tube in over here in this section this capacitor this double zero zero two two point oh oh two two right here it's um if I put my hand near it or just move it it would lock in the picture kind of bouncing like this but the picture would lock and then I I move it again and it'll just keep rolling so it is something in this area here and someone has already unsoldered that prior so we're on to something here and again there's our scope picture after touching that okay that's test point one right there as far as I can tell it's right here and that's what I have on the, on the scope Okay, again, that now we're back on the uh, grid of the grid of the vertical tube there. Let's test that tube next. In the six BF six test good, there's three sections to it, and they all test. That's the lowest one of all of them. No shorts, and uh, I'll leave it on a few minutes to see if the grid emission rises. But that tube tests good. Okay, the tube's back in, and if you see that capacitor here, if I simply just touch it and move it, it'll seem to seems to lock right in. If I just put my hand on it, if I move it. If I let it go, it just free spins. All I'm doing is moving it a little. When it does lock you can see it bouncing like that. I let go of it. And the 200k resistors, uh, they do read out. One's 119 and one's 109 and 116, so technically they are out of spec. And this is the .0051 Even this disc cap, if you if you just touch it, the picture locks right in. I let it go. Put push on it. I let go of it. That's the disc cap here. I'll just. I'm gonna just touch up some of the solder in that area. I can push on that disc cap. A little tension on it. It locks right in. Okay, that's it for now. Let it go. See, now they disturbed it, it tries to lock in even more. Push on it again. It's 
It's not the pot. It's not the tube socket. It's this cap right here. Hmm. Don't know. Okay, I may be onto something here. Move these wires around with the set off. I don't know if you can see that right here. This one is um, this one here is very loose, cracked. There is a wire going to it, and it's cracked. That one right there, cracked. Let's solder that up and see what we get. Okay, we touched up that solder there. Well, let's see what the... Gonna lock in in a second. The vertical looks locked in though. I'll let it come on. I'll give a little help if I want. Come on. No, that vertical is still still lousy. Still lousy lock there, so that's not our problem. I'll push over here a little more again. Well. That's that, that's that couplet in the horizontal. I don't want to start touching that. Oof. Oh man. That couplet is loose. I can't push without disturbing that. Okay, I also found the one meg that goes to ground of the output tube. Uh, the ground didn't look very good, so let's go. On. So be it for net for this edition. We'll just see how it does up front here. And still no vertical lock. All right, we'll stop there. Just push on the board slightly to see if I don't disturb the horizontal anymore. And no, that's pretty good. Okay. The couplet did have a bad solder connection there. So back to this one here that I touch. This is the .002. I have to do is put my finger near it. All right. Let's see that it locks in on its own for a little bit. Okay, we'll leave it at that for now. Something in that area.